This year is the 400th anniversary of the invention of the mechanical calculator by Willem Schickert in 1623. He was a professor at the University in Tübingen and was a close friend of Johannes Kepler. His machine supported the four basic arithmetic operations and it was even possible to calculate square roots with the machine. I'd like to show the components um, that made up the machine. The core part is the adder. You could enter a six-digit number using input wheels. So let's enter 1623. Addition goes clockwise. One, two, three, four. We've added 400. Um, and we had an automatic tens carry here. Subtraction goes counterclockwise also with an automatic tense carry. A second component was a multiplier with a rotable cylinders. You could enter a number in the first row. So let's take 20, uh, 23 as an example. And you multiply using a shift register to open windows. And in the small windows, you can see the multiplication result. 23 multiplied by 7 is 161. So let's take a look around the corner to see the rotable cylinders. Um, they have pre-calculated multiplication results. And finally, the last component was a very simple um, memory where you, could, where you could store a six-digit integer number. So the design was um, quite simple, but you had uh, everything you need for calculation, processing unit, input output, and even a small memory. Unfortunately, um, the calculator got lost during the 30 years war. Willem Schickert and all of his family died and um, his invention was um, forgotten. So Blaise Pascal in, uh, reinvented the calculator one generation later. Um, it was only due to lucky circumstances that um, the design sketches uh, were rediscovered in the 20th century and it became uh, possible to reconstruct um, this first mechanical calculator. If you are interested uh, in detail how addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and um, the calculation of square roots uh, work, um, feel free to uh, watch my videos and um, I would appreciate a thumbs up if you liked the video.